Hey guys, in this video I will show you through examples how to find the pH at the equivalent point. Without any further ado, let's dive into it. In acidic base titration, when the number of moles of base is stoichiometrically equal to the number of moles of acid, we have reached equivalence point. On other words, all acid or base, depending on what we are titrating, is neutralized. Let's move now to, an, to the first example. We have a titration of a strong acid with a strong base. Find the volume of sodium hydroxide 0.2 molar required to neutralize 100 ml of hydrochloric acid 0.1 molar. What is the pH of a solution at this point? First we have to write the balanced equation. In order to find the volume of sodium hydroxide required, we have to use the data from the exercise and the coefficients in the balanced equation together in conversion factors. We have to start from what do we have. So, here at this step we have to use the geometry of the reaction or simply coefficients in the balanced equation. Let's run the calculations. .05 liter or 50 milliliter, this is the amount that we need to neutralize completely acid in the Ehlermeyer. Now what about the pH value after neutralizing? Now what about the pH value after neutralization of the strong acid by the strong base? In the solution remains only sodium chloride plus water. Sodium chloride contains sodium ion plus chloride ion. They come from a strong base and a strong acid which means they are extremely weak conjugated acid and conjugated base, according to the Brunstad and Lowry definition. This means that they do not interact with water that is present in the solution. But how do we find the pH? If we use a pH meter, a laboratory equipment is going to show us a pH 7. Why? This is about water itself. It dissociates in H plus and OH minus. And at 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of H plus and OH minus are equal to 10 to minus 7. So from this value, we are going to find the pH of the solution. So the pH of the solution is equal to 7. So we can say that solution is neutral. Let's move now to the second example. Now we are going to have titration of a weak acid with a strong base. Find the volume of sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, in a concentration 0.2 molar, required to neutralize 100 ml of acetic acid 0.1 molar, which has a dissociation constant 1.8 times to 10 to minus 5. Immediately, due to the constant, you should realize that you are dealing with a weak acid. Find also pH of the solution after the neutralization of this weak acid. It means at the equivalent point. First of all, we have to write the balanced chemical equation. So we have Let's find the volume of sodium hydroxide to neutralize the weak acid. The procedure is the same as with previous example. We have to use the conversion factors. As you may see, is the same as before. This is because we are dealing with moles, which itself deals with the number of particles involved, in this case atoms, and not with the nature of species in the solution. What about the pH? Is the same as before or has changed? pH depends also on the property of molecules or ions involved in the process. So pH has changed. Let's find out. Let's rewrite the equation. Both acid and base are consumed completely in equivalent point. So we have to deal only with the salt and water which remain in the solution. The salt is made by acetate ion and sodium ion. Sodium ion are pH neutral as we explained above. Acetate on the other hand 
is an anion which comes from a weak acid and according to Bernstein and Lowry definition is a conjugated base which by their definition is capable of getting H plus from the solution and the only source for acetate ion to get H plus is water which itself is an amphoteric substance which means it behaves as an acid or as a base depending on the situation in this case behave as an acid so we have So from this equation we see that in the solution we have OH minus. This means that the pH is expected to be higher than 7. So it's going to be basic. From here we have to write the equilibrium constant because we have two arrows here. Because the conjugated base is a weak base. So Kp equal. In order to find the Kb we have to use the relation K multiplied by Kb equal to 10 to minus 14 is only valid for an acid and its conjugated base its own conjugated base or a base and its own conjugated acid so in order to find the concentration of OH minus in the solution which is an equilibrium problem we have to find first the concentration of the salt so The concentration of the salt is the number of moles of the salt divided by the volume of the acetic acid plus the volume of sodium hydroxide added to the solution to neutralize the acid. So let's build a small table that deals with moles. From the table we see that the number of moles that forms the salt is 0.01 mole because as I said at the beginning we are running in a stoichiometrical way. So let's find the concentration of the salt. Now let's deal with a simple equilibrium problem. Let's draw the equilibrium table. This here is approximately zero because some comes from the dissociation of water, 10 to minus seven. Equilibrium is going to shift to the right. Here we have to make a simplification by respecting the rule of 5%. This value we found it before. So from here we have to find the X that is the concentration of OH minus actually. From here we can find pOH. We know that pH plus pOH are equal to 14. So pH equal to 14 minus pOH. pH. So we see that the final pH of the solution at the equivalence point is 8.79, which means it is basic. The same calculation are if we have a strong acid with a weak base. So we have a titration of weak base with a strong acid. For example, ammonia chloride. In this case, you are going to have an acidic solution at the equivalent point. Try it for yourself. Expect a pH less than 7. And if you solve it, leave it the result in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.